Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay and I usually cover true crime videos. This video today was actually supposed to be a little break from the latest case I covered, which was quite intense and it was meant to be a fun video, but I decided to make a video that was hamster related. Today is World Hamster Day and over the weekend I Someone got dragged into a little bit of hamster drama in Instagram, um, bit of an exaggeration, but essentially there was a post that was quite upsetting that quite a few people reacted to. And I figured since I do have a few people who follow my channel for my hamster content that I would address it in this video just to hopefully raise some awareness and prevent other people from being misinformed about hamster care. So if you're usually here for the true crime content, I guess, is this a bit of a crossover episode? I'm not sure, but um, this is kind of a one-off. I just wanted to cover this video today. It shouldn't be too long. Yeah, again, I do want to preface, obviously this is usually a true crime channel. I am not a hamster care channel. I do not pretend to be an expert on hamster care, but because I do have very popular tutorial cages, like cage tutorials on my channel that bring in a few people that watch hamster content, I figured this would be a good video as a cautionary tale for people who might be unsure about just how many hamsters should be in a single cage. Now this video is not meant to put anybody on blast honestly, um, specifically obviously this all stemmed from one person's post, but I don't think that's quite productive. The comments have done enough and unfortunately I have discovered that it's quite a small group of people who are currently spreading misinformation about hamster colonies. If you're unsure about what a hamster colony is, it's not really a thing and it definitely shouldn't be a thing, but this was the post that kind of started it all, basically. This is a picture that was posted for the enclosure followed by an announcement, um, allegedly exciting announcement saying that this cage was now, this enclosure was now meant for nine hamsters. Now, not only is this cage barely big enough for a single hamster, it also does not have enough bedding um, and it's definitely not appropriate for more than one hamster. You should never mix hamsters together and this would have been, or this is a blend of nine hamsters, mixed breeds, mixed genders which is just a recipe for disaster. For anyone who is watching this video who might be unfamiliar with hamsters or owning a hamster or what hamsters are like, they are solitary territorial animals, rodents. They should not be kept with other hamsters in the same cage. They will end up injuring each other, biting each other, killing each other. That is just how hamsters behave. There is a mountain of evidence to show that especially given that in the wild that's just how they are, that's how they should remain, is just keep them in a single cage on their own. What's wild is that the person who wrote this post and shared this post on Instagram said that this method is not for everyone. Now let me be very clear, this is neither a method nor is it for anyone at all. No one should be doing this. And they also added, it comes with risks of injuries and even death if interventions are not taken, which is, I mean, a fact, obviously this will lead to injuries and death. I'm not sure what interventions they were talking about. Are you talking about constant supervision, meaning that you're just sitting in front of this cage 24 seven, making sure that the hamsters do not hurt each other? I'm not sure what the concept is at this point. I mean, when I first saw the post, I was too angry to even bring logic into this because clearly there's no logic involved in this post. Just mayhem. Obviously this post did not go well. A lot of people were very upset, very concerned about the hamster's safety, very confused as to why someone who rescues hamsters would put them in a position where they would hurt each other. It's just like obviously a lot of the comments, you know, a lot of people commenting tried to reason with the owner. Unfortunately there was absolutely no getting through to them. And it is so stressful to see the situation and know that you can't do anything about it. From the comments I've read, from the people I've spoken to regarding this post, um, it's, it's very stressful. Like people are very stressed about this. It's kind of ruined everyone's weekend, but it's also 
you know, more upsetting about for the hamsters, you know, like my weekend's ruined, but it's not nearly as bad as what those hamsters are about to go through because they will turn on each other. But the point of this video is obviously I'm not trying to put this specific person on blast. They've had the comments to deal with and I don't think you can change their mind. I am just hoping that if anyone sees this video and might think that this is a method or a concept that should be entertained, it is not. Please do not put your hamsters in a cage together. It should be one hamster per cage. Let me be very clear. On this channel, I still have people reaching out to me regarding cage sizes, hamster care. I have people contacting me on Instagram, even though my Instagram isn't really ham hamster focused. I'm not very active on Instagram. And I, like, I never pretend I'm an expert. I try to answer their questions as best I can, but obviously, I'm still learning um, and because I do have some cage tutorials on my channel, it brings in quite a few people who are interested in ha owning a hamster. When I made my first cage tutorial for Below, which is literally the cage in the background, I still have it, still have Below. Um, I got so much criticism and also information. It wasn't all bad, but a lot of people commented saying, hey, your wheel's not big enough, your wheel's not appropriate, the bedding's not deep enough. All these things that I genuinely did not know and it's important to keep an open mind when people are criticizing or commenting on your hamster care. Obviously, I think most people are really genuinely doing what they think is best. But even though nobody likes being put on blast on social media, even if it's a nice comment, it still feels like shit. I mean, obviously, when I found out that I wasn't giving my hamster the best care, I felt embarrassed and I felt ashamed that I was failing my hamster by not even giving him the right wheel. I'm very grateful for the people who have commented on my videos, but I do think it's important that if you do see something that's wrong, I think you should definitely say something. Um, I'm not sure attacking someone is the best course of action, only because obviously nobody likes being attacked, that makes them defensive, that might make them kind of close up and not be receptive to any constructive criticism, especially if the criticism is just kind of an attack instead of constructive. So it could have the opposite effect. And I do understand sometimes you see situations like these where you just want to react. You just want to shout like from every rooftop, like this is a terrible idea, please stop right now. However, on the flip side, if you do own a pet and you post somewhere maybe, or in real life, people, multiple people come up to you and say, hey, I think there's an issue. I think there's a flaw. You could be doing this better than you should take on the criticism. At the end of the day, people only want what's best for the animals and you should absolutely put your ego aside just to provide the best care for your animals. The pets you own did not consent to whatever adventure or social experiment you've chosen to embark them on and, and at the end of the day, they deserve the right care. Now, I know when I first got Bilo, the first hamster I ever got, I did everything wrong. I got him from a store. I bought him on an impulse. Even though I followed the advice given by the employee at the shop and I bought the best, the biggest cage they had in the store, it still wasn't enough. It's very easy to be misled when it comes to hamster care. It's easy to think you're doing enough when really the bar is so low, you're not even doing the bare minimum. But the reason why people get so heated when it comes to small pets or the care for small pets or hamsters in particular it's because animals like that are notoriously mistreated right hamsters are so cheap i got below for 10 pounds from a shop people buy them on a whim which is what i did even though obviously i had the right intention and i did want to learn and care people think that they can be put in a cute tiny tiny cage that doesn't take up a lot of space and they're basically low maintenance which believe me if you take good care of your hamster they are absolutely not low maintenance nor are they cheap worst of all people believe that pets like hamsters are disposable which is why a lot of people get very heated when they see someone not treating their pets correctly, such as hamsters. And that's why it's so disappointing to see this post from someone who is actually rescuing hamsters, right? Someone who allegedly cares about hamsters. It's so upsetting to think that someone who knows so much about hamster care would give this a shot because this is absolutely detrimental for all of the pets involved. And the people who see this post who might Think that someone who rescues hamsters knows best and they're like well let's give this hamster colony a try sounds like a great idea they're doing it why shouldn't i it's very easy to 
follow what they're doing when really it's absolutely not the case. From what I understand, the decision made to group the hamsters in this colony was because there were so many hamsters to be rescued that they didn't have enough space to rescue them all. Obviously you can tell like these two cages take up most of this room. It's just a desk and then two cages and that's where I film. Um, because th And that's like the bare minimum in terms of size for hamster cages. And I understand that obviously if they thought that this was a way to save space then they could rescue so many more hamsters. I understand how helpless it feels to see all these hamsters up for adoption, up to be rescued, up for fostering. But this is not the solution. If anything, putting hamsters together will cause them to breed. You best believe hamsters of two different genders are going to breed if you put them in the same cage. And they're different breeds, especially if they're from different types of hamsters, so Syrian and Robo. I personally do not believe you should ever put them together and see what comes out. And it just defeats the whole point because it's just going to create more hamsters. So if you're allegedly trying to rescue all these hamsters by putting them all in one cage and that way you can rescue more and save them, you're just creating more hamsters by letting them breed. So who's going to rescue them? Where are you going to put those in another cage altogether? It's just absolutely lunacy. There is absolutely no logic. It's actually kind of like melting my brain a little bit. On top of that, as I've said, uh, these hamsters, I mean, hamsters are territorial. They're solitary animals. They should be kept alone. If you put them in a cage with other hamsters, they are going to fight. They are going to bite each other. They are going to injure each other. They are going to kill each other, which obviously the person was aware of. And I just want anyone watching this video to know that this will be the outcome if you put hamsters together in a cage. The reason I only have two hamsters is because I only have the time, money, and space for two hamsters. That's... even Cassie was a push. I mean, Coco, my previous hamster, if you guys follow my channel at all, was not planned. And then Coco, Cassie wasn't planned either, but I kind of just pushed the envelope and just figured, you know what? Who needs to pay for rent when you can rescue another hamster? But I honestly, like, I don't have the space for another hamster. And I get it, it's frustrating because I wish I could rescue more hamsters. It's awful to see how many hamsters fall through the cracks because people buy these hamsters, don't give them the right care and think they're disposable. You'll see all these posts online for hamsters up for adoption. It's not just hamsters, obviously, but small pets like that. And yeah, obviously I, I get it. Like you want to rescue as many as possible. And the sad reality is you, you can't save them all. Like a lot of them are just never going to be saved and it's only going to stop when you stop buying from a shop which i understand that's what i did i did that wrong and i've learned my lesson and i'm trying to share that with anyone else who will listen it will only stop when you stop buying from a store or encourage breeders and buy from them just rescue them as much as possible but do not put them in a situation where they can harm each other or create more hamsters that is not a solution that's like a nightmare. So if you are online and you stumble upon hamster colonies, please do not think this is a solution. It really is not. It's an absolute recipe for disaster. It's cruel, it's inhumane, and it's just not the way out. Please rescue one hamster if you can. Give them the best life. That's really do not feel bad for not being able to do more if you're already doing what you can. Because even if there was a 10% chance of this being successful and working, why would you risk it? Why? Why would you risk it? It's absolutely not. It shouldn't even be an option. Now, if you are interested in owning pets that can live together in a group, obviously, who doesn't like the idea of hamsters being friends in the same cage together, that won't work for hamsters if you want that type of vibe. I can recommend maybe rats or guinea pigs. They like to live in groups. They do not live. To, they do not enjoy being on their own. Maybe that's a better fit for you if you're looking for pets that can live with friends, other pets of the same breed. But for the love of Christ, please do not put hamsters together in the same cage, even if you have the greatest intentions. Right? Even if you, it comes from a good place. Believe me and all the other hamster owners or anyone with a brain who can tell you that this is absolutely not a good idea. So this entire rant kind of stemmed from this one post I saw on Saturday on Instagram. I am very sad to see that this is actually kind of becoming a thing. Um, apparently some pet stores are starting to promote hamsters as pets that can live in a colony. 
they cannot. And it, I just figured I could make a quick video about this. I mean, hopefully it's short at this point. I've been ranting for so long, but hopefully just educate at least one person and just prevent this from happening again. I don't want anyone to get the idea that this is an option. It really isn't. Now to end this video on a more positive note, I will show you some footage of my current hamsters. I still have Bilo, as I've said, my first hamster ever. He is my first born child. I love him to death. He is getting very old and it's breaking my heart, but he is adorable as always. And Cassie is my most recent rescue. I got her when she was such a baby, but she's no longer a tiny ham. She's a big girl now. She's so much fun. She wakes up so early and I get to see her every day. And she's finally living her best life. If you haven't seen the video, she was in, in an awful cage, but now she's in a big old cage of her own. That's it for today's video, guys. Please let me know your thoughts um, down below. Please use this video to just vent and rant. All of your frustrations can be compiled in the comment section down below. I can most likely relate to a lot of it. So that's it for today's video, guys. But thank you for watching. I hope I've helped spread some positive news and some correct information and prevent more hamsters from being bundled up together when they really shouldn't. Other than that, I hope you had a nice weekend. Mine was a bit shot, but um, happy hamster day and I'll see you in the next video.